is this conversion to electric cars. And I really hope people continue down that path. Um, you know, especially, I mean, it's, we're, we're, they're getting better at figuring out how to charge them and better at battery capacity and better, and they're, they're better to drive. I mean, we were talking about Teslas. I mean, I, I have a, that Model S. I love that thing. I mean, it's amazing. It's an, just an amazing car. It's not, you don't lose, and I'm, a, I'm an automobile enthusiast. I love cars. You don't lose anything with that. I mean, it's more fun than any other automatic car I've ever driven. Yeah, no, I mean, we, uh, I had one too for a while, but it, uh, I told you I had the electroluminescent paint job and the, you get a the lot projector. Of shit going on with it. Yeah. it was a like, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, it was a nice one. But I had the, I had one of the first electric cars in Colorado back in like 2007. I, I only knew of like two other ones, and I had 120 solar panels on my my roof, so I didn't pay for electricity. Really? So yeah. the oh roof of your house? You mean? Yeah, roof of my house. Yeah. yeah. Um, did you see that documentary? Who killed the electric car? Yeah, Chris Payne. He's a good friend. Very interesting, right? Yeah, and and uh, Revenge of the Electric Car. It was his follow up to it. Oh, it was about how I didn't it, see that. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, I think it's better than the first one actually. But you know, I, I would I tell my neighbors like, "Hey, I don't pay for electricity." You right. Know? My my license plate said uh, VUS. It stood for Vehicle Using Sun. It was the opposite of an SUV. <laughs> And uh, I mean, I, I got checks from the electric electric company. I didn't have bills. I had checks because you were like, contributing we had, to the grid. Yeah, so yeah. we had uh, you know net metering, and um, I thought I just discovered something. It was just incredible. But you know, everybody said you know I was doing it just to prove that I could you know you could, you could do it back then. Yeah, and you know neighbors would just say, well, but how much does it cost? And it's like, well, it's you know we should all be you know you have to be a People have to be early adopters before you can get it to scale. So I was mm -hmm. an early adopter, but I think even with everything that we know what's going on, that people are still saying they're not going to switch over till it's cheaper. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a little bit better and it's cheaper. And you know, Elon, I think he's got the the right idea. Make it a make it a lot better, and eventually it's going to be cheaper. I mean, the the, the Model S is. Uh, is a great car, but the the Model Three is selling like crazy. Yeah. yeah, and it's a, a fantastic car as well. I mean, that Model Three is it's preposterous. You know, I have a Porsche a 911 GT3, and it's a pretty fast car. This guy uh, humiliated me the other day. I wasn't trying to race him, but I think he was trying to prove a point. We're at a red light, and the light turned green, and he shot ahead of me and got onto the highway so fast, I was like laughing. <laughs> I was like, I, look, I wasn't trying to race the guy, it, but if I was, it would have been a bloodbath. You said yeah, you, you, you keep yours on ludicrous mode all the time. Oh, mine? Yeah, my Model S? Yeah, I do. I keep it on ludicrous mode. But you don't have to drive it ludicrous. It's on ludicrous mode. You could drive it normal. Mm. But anytime you want to just dump on the, the accelerator, it just, whoa! It's, it's, it literally feels like it's violating some sort of laws of physics. Like it just, it does something with time. You know, like you're not supposed to be able to get there that quick. You have a um, you have a thing in your mind when you're driving a car. Well, if I want to get in front of that car, it's going to take X amount of seconds. Even if I really accelerate, it'll take some time before I can get up, before I can change lanes. With that thing, it's just yeah. you just go. And you, people that have never been in one before, I take them for a drive in the Tesla. And they they grip the seat and they're like, what the fuck? Everybody says the same thing, like, what the? Or holy shit. Those are the two things they say. Because it doesn't seem like it should be able to do that. Like, it looks like a sedan. It's like a, it's like a regular car. And I talk, you know, I've, I've got like an old muscle car. I've got a couple old cars that look fast. I'm like, that car, that regular sedan looking car, five times faster than anything here. Yeah. yeah uh, and, and zero emissions. But, you know. We're in this transitionary period, and I think uh, the future is pretty bright for that stuff. Mustang, uh, just Ford just released uh, the concept of this um, new vehicle that they're releasing very soon. It's like a Mustang crossover e-car. It's, yeah, it's beautiful. That. It's really cool looking. It looks like, like a larger Mustang, like a taller Mustang, but it's all electric. And Elon praised it today that Ford is going out on a limb and making something like oh, that. Oh, cool. You know, and then Porsche is uh, releasing their their version. It's called a Taycan, and that's uh, I think that's how you say it. But it's a beautiful looking, sleek looking electric car. So we're moving in that direction, like bison meat.